नमस्कार दोस्तों मैं हूं अनिरुद्ध आप सभी का दस्यूर गुरु जी और स्वागत से स्वागत है आप सभी का मेरे चैनल में कैसे आप लोग होप ऑल ऑफ यूर सेफ सो टुडे आवर गेस्ट इज वन वेरी स्पेशल पीपल एक्चुअली दैट इज आयुषी वन ऑफ माय जूनियर्स सो शी इज करेंटली वर्किंग इन गोदरेज वन ऑफ वेरी दी नोन कंपनीज एवरीबडी नोज अबाउट इट एक्चुअली एंड बींग अ स्टूडेंट फर्स्टली of environmental engineering and before that she was having a background of chemical engineering if i'm not wrong ayushi right yeah so yes. and uh, you know uh, firstly you know i would like all of you people to give a like at least for her ayushi and drop a heart sign in the comment section for her uh, and because she has uh, managed her time actually to join me live over here after a long time so first of all welcome ayushi to my channel thank you and uh, in this particular uh, video basically i'm going to talk about a very few interesting things um, about the reality of the core placements that uh, what is there basically and how it is affecting uh, the actual scenario many people also harbor under some myths that core mein kya hota hai non core mein kya hota hai higher studies mein kya hota hai so i'm going to have a discussion with her regarding all of this and uh, from the thumbnail also you have got an idea that you know she is one of those persons who did not uh, get her desired job placements during the campus placements but she was she stayed there strong actually and applied off campus and got right now a much better job what you know than what uh, she was being offered over there actually what she could have offered act offered over there in her campus so firstly congratulations for that tenacity Ayushi, and uh, congratulations for where you are right now. Thank you. Uh, so, firstly, I would like to ask you a few questions on behalf of all my viewers, all the you know, like twelve thousand, uh, almost three hundred people who have been watching you. So, on behalf of all of them, I would like to ask you a few questions. The first thing is that sure. when you did not, uh, you know, like find your placement actually. after doing mtech you know like in iit bombay so what actually ran through your mind during that particular phase like in december and all these things uh, so yeah like uh, i set in both the placement season like placement there were two seasons right mm-hmm. so i set uh, those two seasons but uh, unfortunately of uh, or fortunately i don't know like yes. i did not uh, uh, got any offers because i, I studied i i prepared uh, separately for these interviews like there were profiles uh, which were not exactly the environmental engineering profiles but also the sustainability profile as you mm-hmm. know like this mm-hmm. sustainability and esg is booming mm-hmm. nowadays so i studied separately for those uh, profiles Uh, and uh, obviously my interviews went so well but unfortunately i did not make it but uh, when i was leaving iit without any job offer so obviously that was a little depressing not little obviously. but it was a depressing scenario yeah. for me and uh, so but uh, due, uh, even though i was not uh, getting any offers i did not get any offers I, then even though i was like no i want to be i did not change my profile i always wanted to be in core since i am from a chemical engineering background and i have done my masters in environmental science and engineering hmm. so that combination i did not want to lose that combination yeah. right so i and uh, obviously i don't like this codings and also that was hmm. far uh, far behind me i never chased th- those profile because i know i knew that uh, even if i join those profile i will not do a good uh, yeah. you know i will not do any better to them better, yes, and yes, uh, yes. and also and also whatever i have studied i will lose all those 6 years in a just a quick go so yeah, i don't exactly. i never wanted to uh, lose the, uh, those uh, my like whatever knowledge whatever learnings i have gained during my these 6 years like 4 plus 2 so i never wanted to lose uh, those uh, that knowledge and even after that uh, when i left iit i all i was already also like i was almost all the time i was searching for this environmental engineer profile mm. and be it uh, be uh, and not even for process engineer or something like that which comes under uh, this chemical engineering background but i was mm-hmm. i was only in this uh, environment 
things but uh, i obviously i applied a lot like yeah so uh, let me uh, let me interrupt yeah. you a, a little bit uh, sorry ayushi uh, so actually yeah. you know where uh, did you apply all these things for you know you are right now in godrej so how did you come across yeah. this particular job so yeah uh obviously linkedin is the best place <laughs> to search hop for the jobs like advertisement over but... linkedin ke batao yaar in 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 academy <laughs> so yeah, yeah. so <laughs> uh it is the best place to search at least search for the jobs and if you're not getting any jobs you will definitely find few people who can help you uh like mm. getting those jobs right mm. so yeah i apply almost i was like uh, i followed some has- hashtags i followed some job uh, pages and all yeah, yeah. and mm. i followed the company profiles as well so like uh, how many the- uh, offers actually you know like uh, you know you have searched across or how many interviews off campus you have gone I I I I think uh, I have gone more I have gone through more interviews off campus than on campus because yeah. there were no companies uh, when I like at I at IIT for the core jobs yeah. right yeah, yeah. so I have faced around like 15 or 15 or 16 interviews I can't remember so yeah okay, that's I have been so uh, yeah and each interview was adding some value and some uh, you know. Uh, teaching some, something uh, actually uh, also yes yes actually it was teaching me something and and it gained my like i gained confidence through those interviews yes yes obviously obviously so uh, currently you are working uh, for godrej so what's may i know actually that what's your position over here like what's your designation over here uh, in uh, uh, it's a uh, yeah so it's executive executive grade uh, position and my role is uh, my like my profile is sustainability innovation specialist so okay. i look after the upcoming sustainable and innovative technologies across our all the environmental portfolios like energy based uh, plastics and uh, mm. water so yeah so you you had to learn some like you know softwares and all these things also for this particular purposes or like you know no. i just wanted to ask you that how you had prepared yourself for those interviews like if you would like okay. to say yeah so uh, i would say uh, applying for environmental engineer is not enough because there are no no enough job for as, as such environmental engineer but those profile have moved to sustainability consultant mm-hmm. or some some something yeah some network issue i think at all but please continue ayush yeah uh, so yeah what i was saying yeah so sustainability profiles are there yeah. so like environmental engineering uh, we we almost like uh, i would not say ki uh, there is a gap in the academic uh, uh, you know academics but uh, we almost in our, when you study for mtech and uh, like study for environmental engineering most of the focus is on water like most of the like the civil engineering things actually actually right? civil engineering things right yeah, yeah. but uh, to prepare yourself as an environmental engineer you should know all these three parameters water waste and air right yeah yeah so uh, and also there are different disclosure practices there are different uh, you know uh, different uh, uh, reporting guidelines are there like companies have to uh, mm-hmm. do this reporting they they, mm-hmm. they should know all these uh, disclosures they should do all these uh, disclosure so i prepared uh, for those inter- actually i prepared all those documentation which is present like ctp gri and mm-hmm. ghg protocols are there like how to calculate ghg emissions and mm-hmm. all these things so i pre- i extra prepared myself for those kind of so uh, uh, did you uh, did you actually get uh, you know like any kind of help uh, like from uh, the uh, faculties over there or like any uh, seniors over there like you know wh- which type of like thing was there actually you know, like any kind of help uh, so it was not during my uh, you know it was not during my mtech like when i passed it out, when okay, i passed okay, it from okay. iit okay so then you it was it i actually i had uh, one uh, there was one profile so that was asking that well, like in their jd they mentioned all these uh, disclosure practices and reporting mm-hmm. guidelines and mm-hmm. all jg emissions and all so first time i got to know all okay this these these things are are there, there at least yeah yes, and you had prepared as, accordingly as, 
mm-hmm. and and then according to that JD I prepared, but it was just for a for a one company. When okay. but when I passed out from IIT, I I like after a month, not after a month, but after just after fifteen days, I realized that no, and you will not find any job under environmental engineering profile. But if you move, if you upgrade yourself, and you move, uh, like. upgradation of yourself is very important and to learn all these these are not very big things but in the current scenario these are very big things as esg is booming so being an mm-hmm. environmental engineer and it will not take more than a month to learn all these things yeah so yeah. accordingly you can prepare there are multiple uh, websites there are multiple courses that you can do on uh, this uh, profile Okay, so uh, one more thing I would like to ask you that you know when you uh, you know like I suppose not getting uh, your desired job during the placement scenario, so you didn't think about uh, going towards the higher studies or like PhDs and all these things. What many people I have and I know that they do. So yeah, what made you you know keep yourself away from those PhD thing? So uh, when maybe I, the like, may, as... maybe the M Tech second year project. Okay. So like yeah. for me it was like that actually it was so frightening <laughs> and I was like <laughs> <laughs> so it happens actually when I was uh, in uh, you know I was in in someone's lab <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. and uh, and you don't get uh, all those things uh, like all those things done at the right time so that was a little frightening for me mm. but that was not the sole reason to not go or mm. not pursue phd but uh, since all of my like uh, like i wanted to enjoy that flavor of corporate life and uh, since i have studied a lot like four years btech plus two years mtech and then i was like why to go further for phd mm, you yes, can do yes. it later on but for few years i wanted that gap of few years to enjoy that life where i don't have any pressure of like reading reading and working upon the some things which are like you know in research there are uh, there are a lot of uncertainty yes. so i just wanted to enjoy some practical uh, life scenarios mm-hmm. and uh, to work upon those practical life scenarios okay so any any like you know message uh, regarding uh, you want to give to all our viewers and subscribers who are actually preparing for this year and uh, who are thinking who may have actually also cracked gate and getting into are ready to get into any iits and they are thinking about they are you know very much you know uh, mostly like in my comment section and in my message section all the questions are like core versus non core this type of dilemmas are people mostly you know having Uh, so any any message that you want to give actually to them so yeah i would say if you want to be in co- like first decide where you want you want to be in co- you like obviously there are financial picture comes in uh, like it comes into picture mm-hmm. finance always mm-hmm. comes into picture but uh, my vote like my thing was like do what you love not for finances like obviously finance you have to get in some uh, all that thing Mm. but uh, if you are if you want to be in core and you are not getting any placement uh, in sub in say campus or something don't get disheartened because there are plenty of opportunities uh, coming in and you have to prepare yourself according to those opportunities because yeah. and you have to always pitch for those opportunities because no opportunity will come to you you will have to go there go right there. so you 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 like uh, we say now ki aankh kaan and uh, aankh kaan hamesha khule rakhne chahiye uh-huh. when you search for these opportunities yes, yes, like yes, yes. Uh, when these things come uh-huh. so uh, whenever you get uh, like most of the time i was using linkedin so mm. i all uh, it's not just i am i am seeing a profile and i have applied i go there i search for the people who can help me prepare for those interviews mm. and these kind of uh, things i have done like uh to to get into their mind mm-hmm. company's mind if you are applying for a job it is not uh, your no, job is not done just by applying you will have to dig up how they are doing how what yes, they yes. want to ask like all these kind of things you will uh, need to like upgrade your oh, and yes sir okay okay yes so thank you thank you once again ayushi for being here for so long and uh, also i would like all my viewers definitely to hit the like button once for this particular video and once for ayushi and drop a heart in the comment sign comment section also if you do have any questions in your mind 
uh, you can definitely ask mm, if she gets time i will ask her to answer and also if she doesn't get time i will ask her to answer me i will write it down okay so okay. anyways thank you thank you once again aishi for being here we may uh, we may also meet in this particular fashion at least some day later also for the help yeah. of the other people okay that's fine fine okay, that's okay. Fine. thank you so much thank you you are doing a great job anirudh thank you